Hi, I'm Ty, and welcome to the Mavic Tutorial video series. Today, I want to run through some very important tips and general advice about flying safely. Remember that when you're flying, safety must always be your top priority. As a Mavic pilot, it's your responsibility to be aware of your surroundings and do the necessary research to find out about the local laws of flying wherever you are. If you haven't already done so, please read the quick start and flight sections of the Mavic user manual. Trust me, it's important that you understand some basics and take off safely from the outset. Obviously, the best and safest places to unleash your new Mavic are in wide open areas, away from people and buildings, official no-fly zones like airports, monuments, and tourist attractions. Before you set about flying outdoors, it's best to remind yourself of these questions. Is it a space truly free of obstacles, such as power lines, buildings, or areas where there might be people or animals? Is it appropriate weather for flying? If the answer is a resounding yes, then we're ready to take off. Flying is addictively fun. So remember that it's your responsibility as a pilot to maintain control of your Mavic at all times, even if you're using automated functions like Active Track or Tap Fly. Always keep hands on the controller in case you need to take immediate control during an automated flight. Maintain a line of sight with your Mavic at all times. And be careful not to fly too far away or behind structures that might block your view. If you're flying from your phone, which I'll go into in another video, keep your phone within easy reach while using any of the intelligent flight modes. Monitor your altitude. Remember, as a drone pilot, you're now sharing airspace with full-sized commercial and other aircraft. So it's best to avoid flying over 400 feet or 120 meters above ground level. To fly the Mavic safely, orientation and compass calibration are extremely important. First, let's familiarize ourselves with some basic flight maneuvers. The left stick of the controller controls altitude and yaw. Push the left stick up to go higher and pull it down to go lower. Push the left stick left and right to rotate left and right. The right stick controls pitch and roll, which is essentially front back left right movement. To fly forwards, push the right stick up. And to go backwards, just pull it down. Push the right stick left or right to move left or right. Now remember, fly slowly and steadily at first to get a feel for the controls and the Mavic. Well, now that we've gone through a few basic essentials, it's time to get the Mavic up in the air. If you receive a compass error, you will need to calibrate the compass on the DJI GO app. Tap the status bar in the top center of the screen. In the compass line, tap Calibrate, then tap OK in the pop-up menu box. Hold and rotate the Mavic 360 degrees horizontally in a counterclockwise direction. The status indicators should remain yellow while you do this. When they turn green, horizontal calibration is complete. Next, tilt the Mavic downwards vertically with the camera facing the ground. Repeat the 360 degrees counterclockwise movement. The Mavic indicators should flash green quickly to indicate successful calibration. If the lights flash alternate red and yellow, or rapid red, then compass calibration has failed. You might be standing near metallic objects that are interfering with the calibration. Just move away and try again. Once you've completed compass calibration, place the Mavic on a flat surface and wait for it to warm up for a few seconds. The DJI GO status bar will turn green and say ready to go. Now, you're ready to fly. We're ready for takeoff. Launching your Mavic into the sky couldn't be easier. First, check the propellers for any scratches or damage. These may unbalance your Mavic, making it less easy to fly. Next, switch the propellers on by holding the control sticks down and toward the middle. The rotors will start to spin. Push the left stick up to start to ascend. Or use the DJI GO app to take off by swiping your finger. Once the Mavic is at a comfortable height, release the left stick and it will hover in place. The Mavic is an incredibly intelligent aircraft and will be using its obstacle sensing system to see where it's flying. 
stopping in front of objects automatically to avoid collisions. The same system means that when you press return to home, the Mavic will avoid obstacles in its path as it comes back to you. Obstacle sensors are only in the front, so be aware of this when flying backwards or sideways. When landing, the Mavic will slow down automatically, even if you pull the throttle all the way down. You can also use the DJI GO app to perform an auto landing procedure that will land the Mavic slowly and safely. Now, once you're on the ground, turn off the propellers by pulling the left stick all the way down and holding for three seconds until the rotors stop. Congratulations. You've just completed your Mavic's debut flight. With practice, you'll no doubt be more confident in the air with the Mavic. When you're ready, you can start experimenting with Mavic's different flight modes. P mode is the regular flight mode, which includes GPS and GLONASS satellite positioning, visual positioning, and obstacle sensing systems. This mode allows you to activate intelligent flight modes like tap fly, trace, spotlight, profile, all of which we'll go into more detail in another video series. S mode is sport mode and is intended for fun, giving the Mavic a top speed of 40 miles per hour, or 64.8 kilometers per hour. With amped up agility and responsiveness, S mode gives you a taste of lightning quick drone racing while maintaining satellite positioning support. Be careful though, S mode doesn't include obstacle sensing. Practice makes perfect. So get out there and watch your confidence soar. Well, now we've gone through how to fly. In our next video, we'll show you how to use the standout features of your new DJI Mavic. Thanks for watching.